Hi, this is Brandon from SalesPad. Uh, today I'm going to do a short video on SalesPad grids. Now what you see on my screen right now is uh, our main grid and the customer search screen. So what I have my mouse over, this is what we call as our SalesPad grid. Now you may notice this grid is available on most of our SalesPad modules that you see. And keep in mind that this grid is fully customizable for your Windows user login. So when you log into Windows, you make any changes to this grid, it's only going to affect you as a Windows user. It won't affect anyone else that's logging into that server or that same machine as well. So this grid, like I mentioned, is fully customizable to you. And what that means is I can take any of these columns that you see here, and I just use my left mouse button, and I'm just dragging this column anywhere on my grid. So say for example, I don't um, have any reason for priority code. What I can do is just use my left mouse button and drag priority code off of the grid until you see an X like you see right here. If I let go of the left mouse button, you'll see that now it's no longer on here. And again, the same thing. Um, if I want to move status to the left, use my left mouse button and just drag status anywhere on this grid that I want it to be. So now we can have status right here. If I right click on my grid, you'll notice that I also have some uh, functionality as well. So you can sort ascending or sort descending and that can also be obtained by just clicking on any of the columns that'll also do sorting, ascending and descending. Clear sorting will also just clear your grid so if you are sorting, ascending, descending, and if I just right click and go to clear sorting, now that's back to what it was. You can actually group by specific columns in here. So maybe you wanted to group by uh, your customer class. What I can do is I can right click on the grid and go to group by this column. And now you can see it's grouping all of my um, customers by customer class. So that's one other option as well. Show group by box. So that'll actually just show you what column you're actually grouping by. Remove this column. Same as just using your left mouse button, just dragging um, the column off of the grid. Column chooser, which is the most popular option when you are actually uh, adding and removing columns um, from the grid. So if I click on column chooser, you'll notice that in the bottom right, it pulls up this customization menu. And now I can add or remove any of these columns that you see visible to you here. So you'll notice that this will pull in um, customer address user defined fields along with any other customer field that you see that's available to you in this customization screen. So if I want to pull in like customer created or inactive, you know, give you that information about your customers, that can also be done. One thing I'm going to show you now, um, another option that we have is best fit. Um, best fit all, so I'll just best fit the current column or best fit every single column in your grid. Okay, if I right click back on here, filter editor. So what the filter editor will do is it'll actually allow you to search uh, within multiple columns in your grid here. So I'm going to go ahead, I don't, I don't like the look of my, my sales pad grid that I have right now, so I'm going to go ahead and clear it or uh, reset it to what it initially was when I first logged into sales pad. And that can be done by in the upper left of your customer number field here. If I click this drop down, there's a restore default layout. So if I click that, you'll notice that it just resets to what SalesPad was when I first got it or when it was first installed on my machine. So if I right click on my column header again and go to filter editor, like I mentioned, this allows me to actually um, search by numerous columns within here. So You'll notice in the search by we only have eight search fields within here. So say for example, I wanted to do address code. What I can do in my filter editor is I can just click this uh, blue hyperlink on by email and find address code. And then I can just do click on begins with and you can see you have some options as well. So I'll do equals and then enter a value. If I just click in there and I'll just type in main, hit apply. Now you can see it's going to show me every single address code that equals main. Maybe I want to add something additional to that. Maybe I want to see all of them that have the address code main that are from the state of Michigan. Go ahead and just hit the plus to the right of the and button here. And click this link again. And I'm just going to choose state. Scroll down here. 
And again, just click on my green link there, just type in MI and hit apply. So now this is showing me every single address code that equals Maine and it's in the state of Michigan. So this can be done on any, any sales pad grid. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the state field here. And if I right click, go to show find panel. So what that allows me to do is I can search all of my columns for a value. When I was using my filter editor earlier, you'll notice that it still has my filter down below here in the bottom left. So this is what I call the filter bar. So if you wanna clear that filter out, what I can do is just hit this, this X button in the bottom left and that'll actually clear the filter. Okay. So like I said, I'm, I'm in my find panel right now and this will actually search every single one of my columns within my grid. So you can see, for example, I can just type in, um, I can just type in the number nine. And when I type nine, you can see that it highlights every single value where there's a number nine. So that is what the find panel would allow you to do is search every single one of your columns. Now the last feature I want to show you here is the auto filter row. So if I right click on here and go to show auto filter row, you'll notice that it adds a row below our column headers here. Now this is the most important feature I would say of our sales pad grid because it allows you to search within your search results. So say for example, I come up here and I type in, I want the state of Michigan. I'm gonna exit out of my find panel here, but I'm gonna search the state of Michigan. And let's say I'm going to um, right click on here. We're gonna go to my column chooser again. And I'm going to pull in customer class. So I search the state of Michigan and I pull in customer class. Same thing, you can type in your, your customer class. How many prospects do I have in the state of Michigan? So let's go here, type in MI, and type in prospects. Okay. So I can see these are all my, my customers with their customer class of prospect that are in the state of Michigan. So auto, the auto filter row can be used to quickly find information about your customers, any sales documents, um, inventory. It can, like I mentioned before, it can be used in any of our modules within SalesPad. So those are some options that you have available to you when you right click on the column header. Now in the upper right of some of these columns, you may notice there's a arrow. Um, and if I click that, this will actually just show you all of your search results for that for that column. So you can see, I'm gonna exit out of my filter here. If I click this drop down again and hit prospect, this will quickly, instead of using the auto filter row, it'll automatically populate what value you click into that auto filter row. Okay, so in the upper left on our grid here, you'll notice above the, in the customer number field, if I click that, you'll see that you also have some other options available to you. Restore default layout, I just I described earlier. Auto fit and best fit columns kind of described earlier as well. It's pretty much the same option in here if you go to best fit. Pretty much the exact same uh, functionality. Next one I want to show you here is if I click on this drop down here is a print with preview. So what that will actually do is if I click that, it will take whatever results that I have in my grid here and actually print them out. Or you can email them if you need, needed to. Export to Excel. Clicking that will actually pull up our file explorer and actually allow you to save your actual grid results into an, a Microsoft Excel file. Auto filter row I explained earlier. Clear filters I explained earlier as well. The last option I want to show you in the, this drop down is the columns. So if I go to columns here, you'll notice that it shows every single column that's available to add to your sales pad grid on the customer card. You'll also notice the columns that exist in the grid currently have check marks next to them. So by clicking on that or unchecking them, it'll actually remove that column for your grid. Or if you want to re-add a column, you can just click on here, choose the actual column you want to add, and you'll notice it adds it to the end of the grid here. Now the last thing I wanted to show you uh, is revolving around um, if you wanted to copy grids to other users or other uh, Windows profiles. So that can be done. Um, we actually store these profiles. If I move my Windows Explorer over here, we actually store these profiles in the app data folder. So the app data folder can just be accessed uh, by you or your IT person at your company by using the percent sign, typing app data, 
type in the other percent sign and hit enter. And you'll notice demo room user, that's my Windows user login, app data, roaming, and then if you choose SalesPad LLC, then SalesPad, you'll see there, here's our folder for our SalesPad grid layouts. So I can just double click in here, and you can see it just stores all of these grid layout files here. So you can copy these to other Windows users. If you want to reset your default layout, you can delete these as well. So that was the last piece I had on the grid layouts. Thank you for watching this video on SalesPad grid layouts. We have many more videos available on our website at www.salespad.net.